Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Jogo the Jogobo, and we are back in Jogo's world, and we're just gonna go ahead and plop along, and get right into. Huh? There's a new Optifine version. Um, we're just gonna go right into things, just continue mining. I think today, actually, what I'm gonna be doing is I need to make another portal, and uh, we'll see. Actually, um, this would since I, I'm kind of pre-recording, right? So, what I would like to do, actually. If one of the mods could be so kind as to make a straw poll and let me know, uh, let people uh, decide, should I like work on making my base pretty? Should I what like what I should uh, get done first? Then I would appreciate that because I'm not really. I'm thinking. I'm thinking right now that I actually might want to. Um, I might want to work on just doing like collection stuff, and then once I get back. Uh, from doing everything then I can go ahead and focus on doing um, You know kind of making my base look all cool and epic and stuff like that But I mean I'm kind of on grind mode here, so we can we can focus on resource collection. We can do uh, Base building, but you know, it's kind of hard to do both So let me know Well, yeah do, 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 do. Or Maybe I could do it here hold on maybe I can do it do, 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 do. Anyways, I do need to collect. Um, you, you guys might have noticed that my experience kind of went away. I sort of, kind of messed up, and my character kind of got killed. I wasn't paying attention, and then the game was on, and uh, yeah. I got kind of bit the dust, so it was kind of unfortunate. But is tis okay? And normally, I'd be a little bit hesitant about. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I think. Hmm. Methinks, methinks I can give myself torches just so I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to have you guys sitting here or looking into darkness. But I haven't run into that as an issue yet. But I think if I do run into that issue again, I'm going to just do that. I do have the coal and I do have the wood, so I don't really feel bad doing it. It's just that's going to cut down some of that like annoying time. But let's go ahead, do do do. Actually, well, we got some, we got some stuff right there. Might as well use it. And then, perfecto. And then we're just, you know what? Actually, because we we need um, we need a diamond pick to make obsidian. Oh, or I could try to do that weird uh, template thing. I could try that actually. Well, one way or the other, we need water, so let me go up, get some water down into thar, and then we shall proceed on our merry way. Do 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 do. And hello, everyone that's joining me on stream. We're going to be doing another uh, like kind of lengthy recording session, and this time it's going to be with Minecraft. So yeah, be be aware that we're going to be recording quite a bit of Minecraft on Jogo's World. And should be a good time, I think. I think it'll be a good time. But... Alright, cool. Then back down, we gotta go. I can't believe I have to do two trips of this. Do 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 Alright, well, let me see. I think I saw a straw poll. Yeah. What kind of straw poll is that, LW? Come on, mate. <laughs> oh my. But yes, yes, yes. Uh, for those who, are, for those of you who were just kind of maybe joining in or just kind of skimming along and didn't hear about this, this is just off of vanilla stuff. There's no MCMO. There's nothing like that. It's just straight up vanilla Minecraft, you know, in its original flavor although i guess it's it's not original anymore because it's been patched several times but yeah this is this is just kind of what everyone has for their minecraft vanilla survivals so it's very much vanilla flavor all righty making our way now i do need to make a little corner here just so i can put some water down that way we have an infinite water source. I do have enough to actually go into the nether right now, as is. 
And we will need to do that. I need to get my villager gaming on. Um, because without villager gaming, we're going to have some issues. I don't know why I did that. Let me think here. Um, so that's going to be our diamond pickaxe. There's wood. I don't know why I'm being so weirdly careful about things, but yeah, I am. I don't know why. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. And we are out of food again. Great. <laughs> Bread. My gosh. So much. So much need more. We're always just needing food right now. It's pretty it's pretty unfortunate. And actually, I wonder if I have enough iron. I probably do. Now I think about it. I Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I bet you I do. Whoa. Oh, crap. Did you just not? Yeah, you see, this is how- whoop, this is how I'm used to Enderman dying. Okay, get some bone. And Aro. Hmm. Alright, let's get him away from the farmland here, if I could. Actually, what am I doing up here? I need to stop messing around. I need to go... I need to go down. Make myself another portal. Ow. And then... Whoop. Another portal. Must go get one. And then... Ooh, I don't have a... I don't think I have a flint. Yeah, whatever. We'll figure it out. We can we can do it the really like sketch magetch way. That'll be fun. This is such a weird thing about Minecraft. This right here, it pretty much breaks um, the AI. Like the AI doesn't know how to react to the fact that oh we got a potato, but the mobs don't know how to like do this. Like watch if they go right there. They'll never be able to kind of outpace you, even if it's a zombie baby. They just mess up. I don't know why that is. Something about going down a block really screws with like the AI. It's also really, really hard for um, baby zombies to climb back up things, which is hilarious. So, anyways, that is not really anything. <laughs> that's. <laughs> it's not really important, I guess. There's most of the vanilla mobs aren't terribly scary usually. Usually, there are some times whenever they get a little bit out of hand, but for the most part, they're not too bad. All right, so let's whoop. Let's go ahead. Boom, diamond pickaxe. Replace the Doritos. And then we need to go down, put the water bucket down. Her. Infinite water source up. Cool, cool, cool. And then let's actually go ahead and just mine out this redstone here. Because right now, like, I don't have a large stockpile of redstone in terms of, like, just having a lot of it for having a lot of its sake. So I figure I might as well just get this done dusted first. Gotta get a bit of coal here as well. Also, we're running down on our stone pickaxes. I probably should get some more. Do 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 do. My lord, how much? It's like the biggest pockets of coal ever. Like, what is going on? Then... Break these down... Almost there... And... Yes! Alright. And then we gotta get... Whoop, wrong pickaxe. Go ahead, just delete that bad boy. Honestly, would not mind if we found some more diamonds, because diamonds are pretty important. That's the one thing that um, we can never really game mode, because there's no way to make a farm for diamond, as far as I know. Maybe there's some mythical, like, super sketch way, but in terms of vanilla Minecraft, diamonds aren't really renewable. So it's going to be actually pretty important for us to do it. Granted, there's not really a super good reason for me to worry about um, having really good, like, armor and weapons, because... We're not running around with, like, players running around, so it's actually okay. We actually don't really need it. It's not super pressing, but either way, I would like to get some good gear. 
And then once we get a toolsmith up, then we can have infinite diamond uh, pickaxe. And if you have a weaponsmith, then we have infinite diamond swords. We have infinite diamond axes. Um, Armorsmith will give us the chest plate. Unfortunately, we ha we do have to burn diamonds for pants, boots, and helmets. As far as I know, there's only one really, really sketchy way to get diamond gear in a semi-renewable way. But it, it's basically dependent upon your, uh, your mob luck. It's dependent upon whether or not you... You basically have to hope that a zombie or a skeleton spawns with diamond gear on and drops it. And it's really, really unlikely to happen. And you also, you have a better rate if you uh, use a looting sword and you just smack them all to death. But, you know, it's not very practical, I think. Oh, and I discovered something really interesting. So there is a, a single player command, which allows you to move your world spawn point, which means that you can move your spawn chunks. So, um... Like, historically, I was always kind of worried about where we would find our spawn chunks. It's like, yeah, this is really not a great place to build. Um, but now that I, like, actually had a good look at it, it's, yeah, you can move the spawn chunks around, actually. It's a pretty big deal. Because now I don't have to, like, I can choose an area and be like, this is where I want a spawn chunk to be. And the only real stuff that I need in the spawn chunk is, like, the iron golem farms and stuff like that. Because that's all that really matters. There's a couple of weird rules, like some people think that a spawn chunk means that the entire chunk is like vanilla loaded, which is not true. Five dollar donation from Yogi Yogi, who just donated. It, it, no, there's no message on there. What? Alright, let's go ahead. Let's go until the, the stone pickaxe breaks. Do we hear a lava lake to my left? I think it's to my left. Is it to me? Oh, I just want to see if I'm right. No, but we did find some, uh... Found some redstone. Yeah, it's over here somewhere for Sherzies. Um... Would I feel bad about using the iron pick until it breaks here? Kind of? <laughs> Nah, I'll be okay. I'll live. I'll live if I use three iron. We're not we're not in a rush. We don't need to worry about iron being in short supply because eventually I'll have an iron golem farm. So yeah, I don't really care. If if we burn through an iron pickaxe, it's not the end of the world. It's so God, I miss this. I miss being able to just use tools and being like, yeah, it's not a big deal. Like it. W admittedly, we had hit a point where it wasn't a big deal the other way, but in here, it's just so much more relaxed. All right, knock these out. It's always cool to start off a series, though. A vanilla series, that is. Because whenever you do a vanilla series, and then you just start off from scratch, there's so much that you have to, like, discover slash figure out. Is it above me? You guys hear that, right? It's a giant lava lake. It must be above me. There's water as well. Yeah, there it is. Alright. You know what? Maybe we'll just continue mining. We'll continue mining for this particular episode, but then on the next one we'll do we'll definitely get to the nether. Because I'm actually pretty keen on figuring this out. Ooh, you are placed in not a great place. <laughs> Actually, I guess I might as well collect the obsidian while I'm at it right now. I'm already using a diamond pick. I already made one, so. Alright, bets in, squad. And also, I'm going to just explain this right now. So, I gave it some thought about how a lot of people use water buckets and stuff. And that's, you know, it's actually not, like, it, it makes perfect sense, right, to do that. It just, it makes sense. But the reason why I do this is because it lets me also know how deep that lava pool is. Um, so, like, right now, if I dig underneath this iron, there's a chance that what's going to be underneath the iron is going to be, um, a lava pool. So, let me just see if there is or not. Yep, like that. So, that lets me kind of get an idea of what's underneath here. Alright. So, there's a solid block underneath this. This one I don't know. Oh, yep, and this is what I was worried about. I know you can just keep, like, the water flowing, and that's not... Big deal, but um, something that I personally 
like to do. Makes me feel a little bit more secure about what I'm doing here. Alrighty. Okay, good, good, good. That's in. Three, two, one. Five diamonds. Not bad. Not too shabby. Alright, we'll just toss these out. But five diamonds. Not too bad. Not great. Not bad. Just very, like, so so. <laughs> Alrighty. And there we go. Get these redstone ore. Snap them up. Grab them. And these episodes for now will probably go back to like, you know, the old school Choco method of these episodes will go on forever and ever and ever and ever. But for right now, these episodes will be about 20 minutes a pop. Um, slime Chunk? <gasps> slime Chunk! Slime Chunk! Wait, please, please Slime Chunk, baby. Where are you? Above me, it's right there, it's right there. I'm coming! I'm coming, slime chunk! Don't you worry, daddy's coming. Oh also thank you for the rob raid, the wolfles raid. I hope you had a very happy birthday stream. Huh. I'm coming for you! Slime chunk! You're here. I hear you. Slime Chunk, please reveal yourself to me. <gasps> Enderman? I think I heard Enderman too. Zombie? I don't care about you. It's like right here. Where are you? Slime chunk, baby, please! Reveal! Reveal self! Please! Is it above still? It's to the right. Where are you? Where are you, Slime Chunk, baby? There's dirt, there's dirt, there's dirt. Okay. Dirt is usually a good sign. Plains, so it's unlikely to be a swamp spawn. No, this has to be a slime chunk. It has to be. It has to, has to, has to be. Where are you? I don't even care. I don't, I don't even care. I don't hear it anymore. Slime? Slime baby? Slime baby? No, okay. Where is it? Oh my god, I'm gonna die because I don't have food. Okay, whenever I hit like absolutely rock bottom in food, I'm gonna just have to chomp some rotten flesh because we don't have choices.
Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was over here. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. is going on here all right well anyways I, we're going to continue chasing this guy down but that's going to be it for this episode if you guys enjoyed be sure to hit like button down below subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time for slimes